Welcome to Four Oak Street. You can see I've got uh, my mallard back up and running after getting uh, s screws that had fallen out from the draw bar which were sent to me by DC Supplies who are now doing the warranty well spares I gather for Dapol so thank you for that much much appreciated so you can see um, it has actually stopped come on dirt so onto the turntable and I will just bring it back to where it originally came from so you can see apart from that hitch it actually ran reasonably good so um, I thought I'd do an update before I left for the UK um, which is a week well just under a week actually um, next Wednesday so um, what have I been doing well firstly I want to say a big thank you to Dave at Dean Park who gave this uh, layout a shout out um, and uh, that has been fantastic because um, he is definitely one modeler that I aspire to in terms of his quality and how he does things so I'd have to say I'm not the best at how to's I probably haven't progressed that far but I did actually think well maybe I should talk about the road that I've just built so before I get on to the road I will just show you the bulkhead so as you know my layout has been made so that I can actually disassemble it so it is in like modules so this is where a bulkhead crosses the join um, so basically it's just uh, MDF hasn't been finished in terms of its actual shape um, because the road has to come across I'm not quite sure of the configuration as yet um, then um, you can see at the front edge of the layout I am I have got 6 mil MDF which is I suppose going to be quite strong so that should anything happen it doesn't um, actually wreck the side of the layout so I'll just remove this from the tripod um, so you can see it's just uh, screwed this uh, fiber type board I've cut edges that will actually go against that so you effectively have MDF against MDF so I'm thinking the road will come across here then there'll be a road coming past um, two gasometers and then this road then will come along here and join up with the road that I've been building in the last few days so one of the things that I do do is to try and get a good join um, is to actually um, cut the baseboard so what I've done either side whoops either side here I cut two slots and cut it let me get where I am <laughs> so I actually cut two slots at the side here and then drill holes and cut another slot that enables me to actually push the board up the three mil to create the uh, perfectly flat um, join where my finger is um, so all you do is once you've actually cut um, cut around it if you need to go up three mil you glue three mil onto the base of the flap under the board and then just put a cross piece which then automatically pushes it up three mil so at the moment all my roads are I suppose looking very similar with these walls so um, I'm guessing this is just um, the people 
that were doing the construction uh, like doing it this way but um, obviously I am going to have other types of fencing so if you look at what I've done here this is the retaining wall which comes along here next to this van um, which is just three mil MDF covered in brick paper and then with the on the other side you can see there are the um, the uprights for the wall um, which I will again do on the inside so what I've done here there's a bulkhead here where it crosses so that's just MDF to MDF with an extra piece here so when the road actually glues on there it will um, it'll have something rather than just a 3 mil edge to glue to then I just cut some uh, strip which is just uh, this here just cut the edge off the 3 mil MDF in fact that might not actually be it uh, this is actually it just 3 mil MDF and then all I've then done is count the bricks and just glue it so that has something for the um, road to sit on so I've done that each side I have then done it on this outer edge it hasn't been glued in place it's just basically stuck there then I um, got a template made from cardboard and cut the road and unfortunately the piece that I had wasn't uh, long enough so I had to join it so just a piece of MDF glued and once it gets that second coat on the uh, road and all the road markings are on it will actually uh, be okay so um, where uh, it finishes there you can see I've got some uh, pieces of wood slightly chamfered to make that join so if I now put this road in there we go and that is a really nice join there um, then this piece will go in here then I'll put the capping on I will then put the um, put the pavement on which will cover some of this uh, edge here um, then more street lights and um, then I will continue that road on something up to about, about as I said there past the gasometers so um, I've used a template to get the uh, to get the right standard sort of a width which um, is round about 52 I think or 51 mil so it's a similar size to the roads I've uh, done before um, so yeah so once that um, is all glued then I've got the uh, the edging which sits here um, that's going to have a chamfered edge um, that will have a chamfered edge so that will make I suppose the edge of the board I have to then work out how I'm going to do this edge um, then the road will come sort of around the turntable past the engine shed you can see here I've just experimented with having some sort of a brick edge to the concrete um, so that's it so um, looking back from here you can see the uh, the road will come down the side there um, next to the track um, and uh, yeah eventually go up to that uh, bridge um, once the road comes from the bridge um, it's going to come across sort of this section here and then the idea will be the road will come across a road bridge and I was looking the other day at um, road bridges that cross four tracks and um, couldn't really see anything although I did find one image and then I went and uh, busily looked at the Metcalf uh, road bridges and they will definitely fit 
And then whilst doing that, um, it occurred to me that with this section here, um, more than likely, because this will all be built up, we're going to actually once again have the track um, behind, I'm guessing, another, another retaining wall before it actually breaks into the, um, I suppose, more the country area um, where it'll be more visible. So I'm very conscious now that I can run my trains for four minutes starting at the uh, one viaduct, run all the way down, around, through the station, down the helix, back up, back through the station, back through the helix, and I actually don't see them that much. But by the time the layout is completed and um, it actually ends up over there somewhere and turns back around and then comes back down and joins the, uh, the two viaducts, it should actually make for probably around the seven minute mark, I reckon, to do a uh, complete to and fro, which is what I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, so that's the update. So um, looking forward to coming to uh, England and um, picking up plenty of things that I've had my eye on. So uh, a big thank you to anybody that's uh, subscribed and I've had a few new subscribers, so thank you. And um, I just wanna say it's great to see lots of layouts that are all at different stages, people that are scratch building, people that are doing scenery, people that are well more advanced than myself. So I can see, uh, gee, that's the type of thing I'll be doing in the future. Um, and just learning from other people, particularly uh, those um, not just Engage, but um, also those that are in uh, all scales. So, um, so thank you and um, catch you in about um, a month and a bit after I've uh, come back. So um, thank you and uh, signing off. Bye.